Now, don't get me wrong, the Galaxy S9 Plus speakers are really good, and having stereo speakers is amazing, but there's something really weird about them. And when we're talking about weird speakers, we have to talk about the Pixel 2 XL as well. Let's check it out after this. Hey friends, this is Brandon from This Is Tech Today, your source for honest tech reviews and how-tos that respect your time. So this is part two of a series I'm working on on the S9 Plus. If you haven't seen the bad display issues that I found, go ahead and check out the video right here. So I've been using the Galaxy S9 Plus for about a month now, and it's really great, but I noticed something really unusual about the speakers. They're uneven. So I wanted to perform some tests on it, and I always want to be objective with these tests, so I got my decibel meter. When going through these tests, I noticed that the volume of the top speaker is about 113 decibels, while the bottom speaker is 126 decibels. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a freelance audio engineer and I can discern things with audio a bit more than the average person. So the average individual is able to discern a difference in volume when it's five decibels or more. And in this case, it's 13 decibels. That's a lot. On top of that, I noticed that the sound and the EQ of the speakers are different. The top speaker is a bit thinner sounding while the bottom one is much fuller sounding, but perhaps a bit more boxy or nasally. Thankfully, the top speaker is not harsh or tinny sounding. And you can hear this difference in this test right here. And I noticed all of this just because of the orientation of the speakers. On the Galaxy S9 Plus, there's a front-facing top speaker and a down-facing bottom speaker. And with the way that I hold my phone like this, with my pinky, I will cover up the speaker every now and then. So what it takes to make it as a comedian today, that is, what it takes to make a living, to make money as a comedian and comedy writer. We chat a little bit about the importance of a side hustle, specifically her side hustle. Uh, as and I just think it's kind of weird to put a speaker facing away from you rather than right at you. And this is where the Pixel 2 XL excels. It has two front-facing speakers. And since we're already talking about the Pixel 2 XL and uneven speakers and speaker issues, which I've made quite a few videos on, including speaker buzz, which you can find in the video right here. I have to compare it. I just have to do some tests on it as well. So in my test, I found that the Pixel 2 XL top speaker is 115 decibels, while the bottom speaker is 105 decibels. And that's a difference of 10 decibels, and it even has the uneven EQ or sound from the top and bottom speakers. But to be honest, I didn't really notice the difference in sound between those speakers until I did this test. And that's because the difference between the top and bottom speaker is not as drastic as the Galaxy S9 Plus. But that difference in sound on the S9 Plus isn't really a deal breaker. What may be a deal breaker is crackling speakers and the lack of a headphone jack like you will find on the Pixel 2 XL. So how does the S9 Plus and the Pixel 2 XL compare in terms of just general sound? Let's check out these tests here. Overall, I think the S9 Plus has a much better, fuller sound. What do you think though? Go ahead and leave your comments down below. One thing I really want to touch on is Samsung's claim that the speakers are 1.4 times louder than the S8 Plus. And that's really just kind of like a duh thing. It's just simply how sound works. If you take one speaker and then you take another one of the same speakers, it'll end up being louder just because you added one more. That's a three decibel difference. You don't even have to improve the sound quality of the speaker, you just add another to make it louder. And there's a bunch of math to all that, and really, I hate math, bad Asian. But that's all calculated on an algorithmic scale, and I'll have some links down below in the description explaining it a bit more. To be fair though, the S9 Plus speaker does sound better than the S8 Plus. I ran a few tests on that as well if you want to check out some videos up here. So should you decide on getting an S9 Plus or not just because of this weird speaker issue? I don't really think so. I do think the S9 Plus has some of the best smartphone speakers out there, and it has a headphone jack, which is kind of rare nowadays. But what could be a deal breaker is the display. Check out my video on the bad display issues. I found the S9 Plus in the video off to the side, and below that, you'll find some videos on tips and accessories for the S9 Plus. I have a long-term review on the S9 Plus, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. And if you'd like to help me out, go ahead and share this video, give me a thumbs up, and check out the Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching. This is Tech Today, your source for honest tech reviews and how-tos. Until next time.